Dreballin with DreAllDay.com. We are here to talk about the three seasons that you're going to go through in your business and your career. Doesn't matter what you do for a living. You could be a, a ditch digger. You could be a, a maintenance man, a school teacher, a professional athlete, entrepreneur. Maybe you're just trying to figure it out. You don't even know. But there are three specific seasons you want to go through in your business, no matter who you are. We're going to talk about what those three seasons are, what they look like in each one, and how to play when you're in each season because there are certain strategies you need to be following during each season so first of all let's get into the, the number one season the season that many of you probably know about maybe you haven't called it this maybe you haven't languaged it this way but this is the first season is what we call planting season i know my handwriting is a little bit off there but you all just heard me say what that is so planting season what is planting season planting season is a season that many of us spend a lot of time in this is when you are Working on your game, W-O-Y-G. You are working on your game. You are improving. You are striving, goal setting. Goal setting. This is when you're just working on your game. You're getting better. You are learning. You are investing in yourself this is what you're doing during the planting season this is the one that many of you understand this because you're following a guy whose whole brand is called work on your game this is when you're showing up every single day doing the work you're being proactive you are training this is when you train this is when you prepare this is when you grind when people talk about grind season team no sleep and all of that this is when you are measuring, adjusting, uh, getting access to the information that you need, assessing what you're doing, then you do it all over again. That's what you're doing when you're in planting season. You are just simply, you can just put it in one phrase, you are working on your game. This is usually the longest season. It's usually the most arduous season because this is the longest most arduous meaning this is just basically the one that is going to demand the most of you simply because you're doing a whole lot of work and you might not be getting the roi yet you may not be getting much roi when you're in planting season think about a farmer who is planting their garden they're getting it ready for the fall there's not a whole lot of roi that you get during this time period you but you do have to put the time in so these are the things that you need to understand about this season is that there's a whole lot of work that goes in but you might not be getting a lot of the payoff yet while you're in this time period but we all work not just to work right we work because we want to get some type of payoff we want to get some kind of roi from what we're doing eventually you don't get a ton of immediate gratification i should put that on here as well and Lack of lack of gratification that you're getting in this season, and you might start wondering what's wrong with you, even though this cycle is perfectly natural that you are not always going to get uh, much payback. You might start wondering what's wrong with me while you're in this season because you're doing all this work and you're not getting you know, the you're not getting the results and you will become maybe susceptible to a lot of comparison because you're looking around and seeing what everybody else is doing and not getting it but i want you to understand something about this season is that you will always 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 be in this season on some level you should always let's put it that way Maybe you won't always, but you should always be in this season on some levels. And that is something that absolutely needs to be said. And I'm putting it in all capital letters here. You should always be in planting season on some level. Never, ever, ever allow yourself to get out of planting season because planting season is when is literally what planting is. Even if you're not a farmer, like I'm not, or a gardener, you know what planting is. It is when you are 
setting the seeds for the future success that you're going to get into. So you should always be planting something because you never want to get to a point when you don't have anything coming up out of your garden and then you realize, oh, damn, I never planted any seeds. I didn't plant any seeds last season. So now I'm going, it's going to be a long, cold, bitter winter with not much to eat simply because I didn't do any planting. So this is the first season that you're always going to be in and this is the most important season. So keep this season in mind. This is working on your game season. And since my whole brand is called work on your game, it better be an important season. Let's get into the second season. Second season that you will be in, this is B, is harvesting season. What is harvesting season? Harvesting season is the season where all your work is actually coming into fruition. So we will use that word right here, fruition. That is when the seeds are actually turning into actual food. This is when all the work that you did, you're starting to get some results. And I'm gonna give you some live examples, some real life examples of all of these things in a second when we get into, after I go through what all the seasons are. This is the fun season. Harvesting season is usually a lot more fun than planting season because this is when you're starting to get the recognition. This is when you start getting the ROI is up. This is when you're getting things like money. You're starting to get attention. You may even come across fame. You may be getting more love, is what that's supposed to be. We'll draw a little heart there. You will increase your fans. If you want them, you will get followers or subscribers or likes views all it is vanity metrics this is where and we can actually put the word vanity because what happens in harvesting season is when your vanity is being served a whole lot Do you any of you ever been in the season in your life where your vanity was being served a lot you just start to feel yourself where your ego was up we should put the word ego here because your ego will grow during harvesting season no matter who you are no matter how humble you try to remain this is the ego season the season of harvesting. Harvesting season is like Christmas or your birthday because everything is coming in and you're not having to do a whole lot to receive it. So this is the in incoming season. This right here is the output season. So the planting season is when you're doing a whole lot of outputting. You got to do this work. You got to do that work. You're putting all this stuff out. You're making all these investments in yourself, your time, money, attention, energy, and focus. And we talked about that. Did I put investments here? I think I did. Not much ROI. What's wrong with me? Comparison. Or, uh, actually, I didn't. I didn't put the word investment. Oh, we need to put that. So this is your investment season. All right, the five forms of investment. We talked about that in a previous video. Time, money, attention, energy, and focus. During this season, you're putting in a whole bunch of investment in the planting season. In the harvesting season, all that investment is starting to come back. All right, now you're getting the incoming. So this is the outgoing season. This is the incoming season, the harvesting season. Again, it's like Christmas or your birthday. They only come around once a year, but you know when they come, you're going to get presents. So you know you're going to get the things that you want. This is when everyone's telling you how great you are. People want to take photos with you. Everybody wants to follow you. Everybody wants to be around you. And everybody just wants to be around the success that seems to be just dripping off of you no matter what you do. This is when you just feel like success this is the season where that success all that hard work is actually paying off in the harvesting season this is when everybody wants to be around you and we all love harvesting season all right this is usually the favorite season because this is the season where things are coming in and you don't have to do a whole lot of outputting the incoming is just happening over and over again all you got to do is just sit back and allow it to happen all right i don't need to preach too much about this but i do want to give you a word of warning Word of warning about the word of warning about the harvesting season is you don't want to get so caught up in it that you forget to plant seeds. So when everything is popping off for you in the midst of the harvesting season, do not forget what let you get there. Or right, what usually lets you get the harvesting season is the fact that you did some planting. You don't harvest if you don't plant. All right, I don't know, again, if any of you has ever worked on a farm or know anything about working on a farm, 
And I don't know a ton about it, but one thing I do know is that if you don't plant any seeds, then no, no uh, fruits or vegetables or crops are going to grow. So you must make sure that you remember to plant seeds so that, the plant, so that you can get to a next harvesting season. Harvesting season does not last forever. There's another point that we're going to make right here that this one ends. Three exclamation points here. Do not forget this. Planting season goes on forever. You are always planting. You are always putting in work. You should always be working on your game. The best, who's the best shooter in basketball? Steph Curry. Do you think he practices his three-point shot? Of course he does. Has he har harvested the success that comes with being a great three-point shooter? Yes, he has. Has he seen the fruition of it? Is it fun? Does he get recognized? Does he get ROI? Does he make money? Does he get attention? Does he famous? Love, fans, followers, subscribers. Does he get all of these things? Yes, he does. But guess what? He still plants seeds by continuing to practice and work on his game because he understands that if he stopped practicing, his ability to make those shots would not last forever. So the harvesting season, I don't have to tell you a ton about this one because you understand uh, how this works. And if you do not plant the seeds, there is going to be a long wait before you get to harvest again. So make sure you are always going back to the planting season, even while you're in the midst of the harvesting season. Now, there's a third season. Here's the third season that we need to talk about. This third season is what we call just three letters. Yes season. What is yes season? Yes season is the season of what we will call opportunity. This is when you make more connections. This is where you can build relationships this is when you are getting a whole lot of same thing from the harvesting season a lot of incoming i should have put that over here really it happens more in the yes season than it happens in the harvesting season you're getting a whole lot of incoming when you're in the yes season this is the one that doesn't get mentioned a lot but this is where all the opportunity is coming in your way and then you get opportunities for both planting and harvesting happen here so you get opportunities to plant more seeds this would be like for example somebody comes to you and they want to do some kind of business deal with you. Somebody says, well, let's start a business together or let's write a book together or let's do a, a course together. Or, let's do an, an event together. Now you're gonna have to plant some seeds for that thing to come to fruition, but this is where you get a whole bunch of opportunities because everybody is seeing you. The awareness of you has gone up. So your awareness and Visibility has increased when you're in the yes season because everybody knows who you are. Everybody sees you. Your name is in lights. You are just more known. You see, the more that you do planting and the more that you do harvesting, the more you get noticed and the more people want to do these things with you. Everybody wants to be next to you. So we'll just put the word, we'll just put with you. Everybody wants to be with you because they see that you're working on your game and they see that you're harvesting the results of working on your game. Now they want to work on your game with you. Any of you who's in good shape and you work out often, how, mu how often do you have somebody come around you and they say, well, hey, when's the next time you go into the gym? How often do you work out? Can I work out with you? Why? Because people see that you're planting, you're harvesting. Now they want to do the same thing because they want to get the same results. And our yes season is because of the results. This is how you get to yes season is by planting and harvesting. When your results start showing up because of those results, everybody wants to ask you for something. Everybody wants something from you. And if you have muscle, people want to work out with you. If you make money, people want to collaborate and they want to do business with you. In the yes season, you have to be discerning. These are the things that you have to be careful about in the yes season because you're going to get so many. All right, so finishing my, what I was saying here, the camera, for whatever reason, wasn't capturing my audio for this last part. So you have to step up your discernment because as you are getting more in the yes season, more opportunities in that yes season, you want to be more discerning so that you know what to say yes to and also what to say no to. You need the ability to say no. I have a master class on this subject. Got to be able to say no to people because you're going to get so many yes opportunities. If you say yes to everything, which you may be tempted to do, because it's serving your ego, because everybody wants to be around you, you just want to say yes to everybody. The more you say yes, 
the less resources you're going to have for planting, which means it's going to be less harvesting. And the less harvesting you do, the less people are going to be offering you anything so that you won't be able to say yes. So you have to have a long-term vision here to be able to say no to some things, even though people want you to say yes, so that you can do more planting and more harvesting. Because remember, you're always going to be in planting season so you can get the harvesting season so you can say yes. And this is why your discernment matters so that you know what to say yes to, what to say no to. And again, these associations, you're going to want to be strategic about the associations that you are building as you are saying yes through your discernment and through your ability to say no. So with all that being said, remember that the planting season is something that is always going on. It never ends. You're always going to be working on your game, improving, striving, setting goals, learning, investing, uh, training, preparing, and grinding. You're always going to be in this season. This never ends. This is the longest season. It's the most arduous. There's not a lot of ROI while you're here. There's a lack of gratification. You're going to be wondering what's wrong with you at times. You're going to be comparing yourself to other people who seem to be doing better. You're going to be doing a lot of output and putting in a lot of investment. And it seems like you're not getting anything back from it. But what's going to come on the other side of that is harvesting season. But I want to be clear. When you're in this planting season, you got to make sure you have the right guidance. and You have the right people around you so that you're planting the right seeds. If you're doing a whole lot of planting of seeds that just aren't going to grow in that soil, or you're planting in soil that isn't ready to produce seeds, or you're just planting the wrong things because you're working off of an inaccurate formula. So in this planting season, you got to make sure that your formulas are accurate. You got to have accurate formulas here. If your formulas are inaccurate, then it doesn't really matter what you plant because you're not going to get the right outcome. So make sure your formulas are right. When you're in planting season, this is the reason why you have coaches. This is the reason why you join masterminds. This is the reason why you get extra sets of eyes and you get consulting and help so that you have the right formula. Many people are doing a whole lot of hard work with an inaccurate formula. It doesn't matter what you do, you're not going to get the result. So make sure your formulas are right. And that'll lead to the harvesting season. When in harvesting season, this is when things come to fruition. You get to have fun. You get recognition. Your ROI is up. You make money. You get attention, fame, love, fans, followers, subscribers, likes, vanity. Your vanity is served. It serves your ego. You get a lot of incoming resources now. Instead of the output, you get the incoming. You feel like and look like success. And you are, this is the favorite season. This is the season that everybody loves, the harvesting season. This is like Thanksgiving. All right, think about food at Thanksgiving. That is success, fame, happiness, love during harvesting season. But make sure when you're in harvesting season, don't get so fat on that food that you forget to plant more seeds for the next harvest. Because if you don't plant seeds for the next harvest, then like, the food that you ate last year doesn't feed you next year, right? So make sure you are continuing planting seeds. And remember that this season does not last forever. Thanksgiving lasts one day. The leftovers might last a week or two. Then it's over. Now you got to plant food again because you're still going to need to eat at the next season that comes up. And when you are harvesting a lot, you're going to get to the yes season because people notice how much you're harvesting. People want to get around you. They want to know how you did it. They want some of that to rub off on them. And this is where you get opportunities. You get to build connections, relationships, a lot of incoming still. You get to remember that planting and harvesting is what led to the yes season. So do not forget about this. This is where your awareness and visibility is up. This is everybody wanting to be around and with you. And this is all based on the results you got from the harvesting season. But those results only happen because of what you did in the planting season. So during this season, because you have everybody wanting to be around you, don't forget what got you there. What got you to yes season is the harvesting. What got you to harvesting is the planting. So when you're in this season, you can't say yes to everything because then you won't have resources for planting. So you must be discerning. So knowing what to say no to and being careful about what associations you build, you may not want to associate with everybody who wants to associate with you. That is where your discernment comes in. You have to be very good at reading people. You have to be very good at reading and assessing other people because if you're bad at this, it's going to cost you. So reading people. This is also part of discernment. These go together. Discernment is your ability to read people and know who is who and what is what and seeing people for what they actually are, who they actually are, rather than what they present themselves to be. That is all happening in the yes season. So with all that being said, these are the three seasons of your business. You need to be paying attention to these seasons. You need to know what they are. Identify what season that you are in so that you can continually get the results that you want in each season. All that said, two things for you to do now. First of all, text me to get my daily motivation for free every single day straight to your phone, my number 305-384-6894, and then go to workonyourgameuniversity.com to join me in my Bulletproof Mastermind where I can help you. Make sure you're planting the right seeds and planting seasons so that you can harvest and get the results that you want, and then say yes when those opportunities start coming to find you. That is in my Bulletproof Mastermind. That is all at workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre, all day.